years. We'll see. Also breaking, former director of national intelligence James Clapper uh, is at sea, uh, figuratively. He doesn't seem concerned about what is the worst attack on this country, uh, a cyber attack that is, uh, well, right now we don't even know the damage that have been done and is still being done. Uh, Clapper took the time to say that the principal challenge that transcends all others, apparently including this one, is climate change. You wonder why we've had so much trouble from our intelligence community with gifted minds like that, uh, working at the... Uh, as the National Director of Intelligence. Our first guest this evening is the former National Security Advisor to President Trump, former Director of the Defense Intelligence Agency. Uh, joining us now, I am pleased to say, is General Michael Flynn, a great American, and we appreciate your time, General. Uh, this, this attack, your sense of it, uh, how, how pervasive uh, what are the dimensions and how concerned should every American be uh, about our government and our country? Well, I mean, that all of these cyber attacks that have occurred have occurred from, in most cases, foreign inf influencers. Um, Lou, can you still hear me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we're having trouble. You're back up here, General. Yeah, uh, okay. apologize for the... So uh, well, what I, so what I would say about what I would say about the uh, solar winds is that solar winds is an is an entry point into the rest of our entire U.S. critical infrastructure. So everything that touches the United States government, if you enter through this solar winds uh, attack that we received, you now have access. You have you know, basically have keys to the vault. And you're inside of the, you know, you're inside of our of our home, and you're able to rummage around and and do damn near anything. So it's a very very serious attack. I would say on one hand, okay. On the other hand, we cannot be distracted because this attack, we we now I believe we've known about it for about six months, the way I understand it. So when we talk about our election security, Lou, I think that this is a this is all part of it because there is a relationship between this solar winds uh, attack, which has basically penetrated our entire critical infrastructure, as well as our election security. So we, we have to look at everything that we're doing, and we have to, you know, everybody's got to take a deep breath and back up and say, okay, with all of the egregious behavior that we have seen on our election security, we cannot stand for foreign influence, we, which we have direct evidence of foreign influence. We also have evidence now from other countries, other foreign partners who have evidence. In fact, they were watching the attacks on our election system, our election process on the 3rd of November, and they are willing to provide that directly to the president. So we now have that evidence and we received that today. It's very, very important. So there, there, are, there are foreign partners and allies that are willing to help us but this foreign influence against our election security and into this solar winds uh, system is really, really dangerous, and uh, and and more has to be done. Well, let's let's take this in some order. First, in terms of the breadth and the uh, uh, the urgency, the immediate uh, threat is without question this attack on the United States government. And I and I understand the use of language uh, like uh, infiltration, uh, mm -hmm. cybersecurity attack, as if in some way it's not an attack if it's a cyber attack. But the reality is we don't know the damage. We don't know if what agencies actually have control of their systems. We don't know what has been compromised. We don't know what to do about according to the and this comes from the agency, some of the agencies themselves. They have no idea how to uh, rid themselves of the malware. There are reports that FBI agents are walking away from their computers because they're beyond uh, uh, repair or remediation. Right. So, so Lou, what we're really talking about is, is we're, we're, we are in an information war, and probably the, the principal nemesis is China. And this is an information war that they are, they are masters at it. We... We believe we're pretty good, and I do believe that we're pretty good. We have we have certain capabilities to be able to uh, to sort of block and tackle 
in this uh, in this information warfare domain that we are fighting within. There has to be bigger decisions by the president of the United States. He's going to have to he should he should pull in the, the director of the National Security Agency. He should pull in the director of Homeland Security, the director of defense or the secretary of defense. And he needs to pull these people in immediately and basically get get mm -hmm. from them. What is it that's happening and what do we need to yeah. do? What decisions does he need to make? And it, it is all related because this is not something that just happened this past weekend. This has been going on for months. This has been going on for months. And there are. It may, by the way, General, we're, we're told that this may have been going on for years uh, uh, at this level. Uh, yeah. And uh, the damage is not even is not even uh, right now. Uh, the United States government can't even estimate the damage or the extent of the infiltration or what has been uh, taken out, exfiltrated by the enemy. And why don't we call these people the enemies? These are not cyber attackers. This isn't just foreign influence. This is a damn enemy of the United States, is it not? Right. It absolutely is. I mean, absolutely. Lou. We're not, these are no longer competitors or, or, you know, or equals. These are threats to our national security. These are direct threats to our national security. And we're talking about, because we know we have evidence of uh, foreign influence in the election, and that goes, in this, and in this case, too, you're talking yeah. countries like China, countries like Iran, countries like North Korea, like Russia. These are adversaries that want to basically dominate the, 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 with their ideology this country. And, and we cannot kid ourselves any longer and play games in this world of cyber attacks and, and act like it's just some video game. This is real stuff. They are stealing our intellectual property. They are stealing our designs. They are stealing the innovation. They're stealing damn near everything from this country. And then they're going to use it against us in some capacity, whether it's in the whether it's in trade, whether it's in diplomacy or whether it's against us military to military. It's very, very dangerous. The decisions that the president has to make now, he's a guy, as I said, he needs to call these uh, these members of his team in. And I believe he's probably done some of that. But but there are some that he needs to pull in and say, OK, guys and gals, what is it that we need to do right now? And and I need to understand. Let me say, General, long, if I may, if I may interject, yeah. General, uh, let me just say at three thirty this afternoon, he was meeting with the uh, the head of the Department of Defense, uh, Chris Miller. Uh, he has recalled his national security advisor uh, two days ago uh, because of the urgency of what is happening. And they have been meeting, as we understand it, through throughout the day. Uh, General, can you uh, join us on the other side of this quick commercial break? Uh, and we can pick up the conversation from there, and particularly the point about the intelligence of other n nations about uh, the security of our own election. If you could not do it, I understand, but we would uh, invite you to do so if you can. We'll be back with General Michael Flynn, depending on uh, his disposition of that invitation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're back now with General Michael Flynn, who's been gracious enough to wait uh, through these commercials to uh, uh, to continue the conversation. The general has just told us uh, that uh, other countries intelligence. Uh, the, the team around the president needs to shore themselves up. I think that the, that the political camps that we have in this country need to come together on this because this is a very, very dangerous situation. We're in a dangerous period of, of time right now for our country. And I think that I think that, in fact, I would say that I know, I know that Americans, the American people, are more than willing to support whatever the president decides to do in this regard, because we're talking about the, the, the safety and security, which is the principal uh, responsibility for the president of the United States of the people of this country. Okay. And that is what is at risk. All right. General, we thank you very much. We appreciate, as always, your insight. Thanks so much. Good to see you, General. All the very best. Look forward to seeing you soon. General Michael Flynn. Join